let's see about suture materials so the purpose of a suture is to hold the tissues in opposition until the wound has healed sufficiently to be self supportive so the purpose of a suture is hold the tissue in opposition until the wound has healed sufficiently to be self supportive so sutures function primarily to maintain wound closure and to promote wound healing during the time when the wound is most vulnerable and what are the ideal requirement of suture materials so the it should have high tensile strength to hold the wound margins appropriately till the healing is complete and it should not be allergic or cause any tissue inflammation and it should have least cap uh, capillarity to avoid retaining the inflammatory transurate at the wound and it should have good knot stability and should be easily sterilized and should be visible in the surgical field and should be affordable these are the ideal requirement of suture materials next moving on to absorbable suture so what is absorbable these suture materials are digested or hydrolyzed by the enzymes present in the body or by other mechanism so thus they require no removal from the surgical site so the actual dissolution time of the suture material depends on the material type tissue blood supply tissue structure and degree of fluid accumulation on the suture material so absorbable suture or these are the suture material digested or hydrolyzed by the body and it has two types one is natural and another one is synthetic and next moving on to non absorbable suture so here these materials cannot be metabolized by the body natural mechanism therefore they should be removed by the surgeon at the end of the healing so it is not hydrolyzed or digested by the body and it should be removed by the surgeon at the end of the healing and it has uh, three types one is natural metallic and synthetic so absorbable suture are digested or hydrolyzed by the enzymes present in the body and non absorbable suture are not digested or hydrolyzed by the body what is monofilament so this consists of single strand of uh, suture material what are the advantages it uh, the monofilament suture are more smooth and strong and it do not allow any bacteria to survive and what are the disadvantages the suture cannot be handled well like multifilament suture so handling is um, difficult in monofilament suture have to be handled properly and delicately without any damage to the strand during surgical procedure to avoid any breakage post operatively and what is multifilament so this consists of several filaments twisted or braided together so in monofilament single strand in multifilament several filaments twisted or braided together so multifilament suture are generally easier to handle and to tie uh, than monofilament suture but it can harbor the bacteria so importantly they are not suitable in the presence of contamination and infection so multifilament suture materials are not used in the area of infection and next moving on to absorbable suture material the first one is natural in natural absorbable suture material first one is cat gut so cat gut is also called as surgical gut so it is made of collagen harvested from submucosal layer of small intestine of sheep and the serosal layer of cattle small intestine so it is used for centuries it is gradually fading from use because the gut suture material is poor tensile strength so this picture showing the cat gut suture material so it is a natural absorbable suture material so it has poor sense uh, tensile strength and poor in vivo knot stability and high tissue reactivity so if we soak this material in chromic acid salt it uh, delay the absorption time and reduction in the tissue reactivity compared with untreated cat gut and it uh, strength for 2 to 3 weeks and mainly it is used for percutaneous uh, suture in split thickness skin graft or in children where the it uh, difficult to remove suture these are the condition and it is um, resorted by proteolysis next moving on to synthetic absorbable material first one is polyglycolic acid example is dexon 
so it is a first synthetic absorbable suture material and it is introduced in 1970 and it is a excellent tensile strength and not stability in addition it has delayed absorption and diminished tissue reactivity compared to catgut so the absorption of uh, polyglycolic acid is by hydrolysis when catgut its absorption is done by proteolysis process in uh, dexon it is um, absorbed by hydrolysis process next moving on to polyglactic acid example is vicryl it is introduced in 1974 this suture material is a copolymer of lactide and glycolide and it is manufactured with a coating of polygalactin 370 and calcium stearate here it is excellent handling and smooth tie down properties so vicryl is degraded by hydrolysis Uh, both dexon and vicryl are absorbed by hydrolysis process vicryl is brighter and comes in either a clear undyed or violet dyed form this picture showing the vicryl next moving on to polydioxone that is pds it has prolonged tensile strength and it is a polymer made from paradioxone and pds can prove useful in situations where extended wound tensile strength is required so extended wound tensile strength is required we have to use pds so polydioxin is a hydrolyzed more slowly than other synthetic absorbable the complete absorption occurs at 180 days and this picture showing the pds it is a braided synthetic and next one is poly trimethylene carbonate example is maxon it is a newest absorbable material prepared from polyglyconate it is a copolymer of glycolic acid and trimethylene carbonate and it has excellent tensile strength not stability of pds with improved improved handling property so maxon provides wound support over an extended period of time so this is all about absorbable suture material and next moving on to non absorbable suture material so non absorbable suture material first one is silk it is created from natural protein filament spun by the silkworm larva as it build a cocoon so the modern silk is braided soft and perhaps the easiest suture material to handle and tie and it is it has the lowest tensile strength of any material tested and here it elicit more inflammatory reaction and high capillary quality in cutaneous surgery it can be used around the eyelids and lips where it lies uh, flat causes minimal irritation and has a low potential for infection this picture showing the silk suture material and the second natural non absorbable suture material is linen it is a cellulose material made from flax it is twisted to form a fiber to make a suture and tissue reaction is similar to silk and the material has good knot stability and it gains 10 percentage tensile strength when wet it is fairly unique in this respect it has excellent knotting properties so linen it is a cellulose material and the next is synthetic non absorbable suture materials linen and silk are natural next moving on to synthetic the first one is nylon and it is introduced in 1940 it is a synthetic polyamide polymer fiber and was the first synthetic suture material and it is used in cutaneous surgery it has high tensile strength excellent elastic properties and minimal tissue reactivity and low cost here the disadvantages is it it has prominent memory which subsequently leads to an increased number of knots the throws are increased 3 to 4 throws are needed to hold a give a stitch in place so next moving on to polypropylene example is proline and sergiline it is a plastic suture formed by the polymerization of propylene by means of a catalyst So proline is a extremely inert suture whose tissue reactivity and tensile strength are compa- comparable to that of nylon. It has very smooth surface with low adherence to tissue which is ideal for a subcuticular intradermal suture. But it tends to slide out smoothly at the time of suture removal. 
so when swelling occurs this suture will stretch to accommodate the wound so thus there will be little cutting through the tissue when wound uh, swelling result the suture will remain loose next moving on to bridal polyesters example are mercelin and dacron so polyester fibers are polymers that are formed by as nylon by condensation polymerization so it is a bridal polyesters it were manufactured to provide the same high tensile strength low tissue reactivity as the monofilaments but with improved qualities in handling and not security so polyester sutures are either coated or uncoated so mercelin and dacron are uncoated braided polyesters next moving on to poly butester so poly butester is the newest of the non absorbable suture material and it is a thermoplastic copolymer composed of butylene terephthalate uh, and poly tetramethylene ether glycol so it is a monofilament in a suture that was designed to be stronger less stiff and possesses lower coefficient of friction